a leaf. Hey my friends, it's fall time. The days are shorter and the weather is colder. There are still bluegill out there. It will take some effort to find them and it will be a challenge. So today, I will bring a gadget with me to help out. The Hummingbird Fish Finder. So let's go fishing and see if we can catch some bluegill. The water is so cold at about 55 degrees and I'm getting no bites. The choppiness of the water doesn't help either. So far I haven't encountered any fish, but what I have encountered is a big family of swan. Look how graceful they are. in a big lake but just got to keep trying and I finally got a bite right around here near a bridge. This might be the spot but I might have to downsize. See if the hummingbird can help me out a little bit. It is time to whip out the fish finder to help confirm that there are indeed fish below and to show me what the depth is. Switch to a small curly tail. A chicken grub. I'm trying to catch something on this challenging day. It's, it's nice, but windy. When I got to the water, all of a sudden, windy. Got it. <laughs> Just as I thought. Bluegill. See, their mouths are so small, they just tap it. No skunk! The nice thing about being next to the bridge, it's, it's windy in the open water, but I can protect myself next to the bridge, at least a little bit. Make this kayaking adventure more tolerable and more fun. It's a little guy with nice colors. This one's pretty strong. It's moving to the right. Moving to the right now. Coming closer. Bluegill. Oh! That's it! That's the one I wanted. <laughs> Hummingbird was helping me, confirming that there's a fish down there. Look at that sweet bluegill. Really hooked that. That's a good size one. I like to play dead, but now you can see side by side. The first one is a lower left. The second one was a nice big one. Mm, seven and a half inches. I still like to call you a monster bluegill because you're chunky. You're about six and a half inches and then seven and a half inches. Fall time, sun is going down much earlier. Just trying to make the best of a decent fall day.
Jig and Grub by Berkeley. Chartreuse color. turtle of the year? I hope not. Enjoying the sun. Hummingbird is not marking anything on this side. It's worth a try though. I want to show you something. Look at that choppiness under the bridge. Because the wind is coming from the right. I'm trying to stay in the protected area. So that's why I'm stuck here in this small area. On the contrary, there is some marking of fish on the hummingbird on this side. I got something. Feels like another blue guy. Oh no! Ah. <laughs> Worth it. The other side of the bridge. Beautiful yellow perch. Also likes the jig and grub. Oh god. Healthy it is. Oh no. Oh god. It's swimming away from me. <laughs> Great. Show your fin. Show your fin. Two beautiful panfish. Yes, it's on there. Feels pretty good. Strong. Yeah. Okay. That's a beauty. <laughs> I am the bluegill slayer. of using my hummingbird, staying in a protected area, and using the Berkeley jigging grub are the key to my success today on this windy daylight savings fall day. Beautiful. It's getting dark. It's probably time to go till Catch this one. Oh yeah! Look at this one fight! Look at this one fight! It's another bluegill! They're monsters! This one has peach color on it. I love it! Just staying in basically one area, protecting myself from the wind and the choppiness out there. And I'm finding these guys. That's as big as I'm going to get today. There's a small one.
the kingfisher here. We got to enjoy fishing and fall foliage. Let's finish the day by watching the sunset. Thanks for joining me today on this bite-sized fishing episode as I searched for fall bluegill in cold, choppy water. The hummingbird helped me confirm the presence of fish and ultimately got me nice bluegill and a yellow perch. Thanks for watching everybody. Please like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe if you're new here. And we'll see you next time on my Outdoor and Nature channel. Let's play a quick game. My cat is looking at something. Can you guess what it is? If you said a squirrel, you are correct. Pat yourself on the back for a job well done.